It's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do more of a show and tell today. I don't have any blocks done because I've been constantly working on the t-shirt quilt. So I just wanted to show you what I have been doing and give you just a very quick little quilt show. So I will be holding the camera for this because I'm actually walking around my deck. And this is quilt top number two of the memory quilt and I have decided to do them in pairs now and so therefore I have memory quilt top number three completed as well I want to quilt both of them at the same time so that I can run both of them through on the long arm without having to realign my panto so that's why I'm working in pairs now and then over here, I talked about in my video where I picked the fabric for my quilter's patch quilt that I got a lot of neutrals from a lady that was visiting our gill from Iowa Star Quilt. And this is also her pattern. It's called Zigzag 9. And I actually put the borders onto this quilt so that I could show it to her when she came. Her original pattern does not have the two outside borders. But I started with the outside borders for inspiration on color and then did it that way. And this is her more original pattern type. This was the first one that I made. But then my scrap quilting club wanted to do one and I didn't want to make the same one and that's why I made this second one. But this is the original pattern, much more graphic when you have a light background. And two of her other patterns that I bought while she was here, or that I got, she actually gave these to me because I was thinking about doing one with my scrap quilting club. So this is form scraps, and then scrap rama This is actually one we may use next year for our year-long project. Next up is Jubilee. I quilted this quilt and got the binding on. And I actually recorded the quilting on this, but my GoPro was not sitting in the right position, so it could not record. I'll just insert a few snippets of it here. It's not going to be very much. But in my borders, I actually have kind of U shapes or half circles. And then when it gets into the middle, they kind of overlap and make this secondary pattern when it's going the opposite direction. And I did that for like six inches on each side of center, so 12 inches total. In this first border, I did my basic spiral back and come back around and through. And did that all the way around. And then in each block of my background, I quilted something different. This block has hearts with loops. And then I also did some accent stitching in the basket because I didn't want this big piece of applique to be sitting there. And then the rest of the applique pieces were just outlined, stitched around. I put a little design in this egg because it was a little fuller as well as that one. And then I stitch this kind of back and forth stitching in particular sashings. Here I use the ovals ruler by Dusty to do that I'll put the name of the ruler in the description box and then I meandered in the back of very small pieces and again I done some accent stitching in the tulip the same thing with background stitching in the rabbits in small thin sashings that were one inch or so I just did this wavy S free handed so then in this background, I have more of, I guess, McTavishing style quilting. And then here I have my feathers in the background. And then in the egg, I actually decorated this egg because I thought it was too plain because I didn't use a 
more defined pattern print and then here I just did some accent stitching around because I didn't want to go through my egg this background stitching has pebbles and then down here we have just straight line meandering and again I did some accent stitching in the vases over here I have clamshells I don't know if you can see them very well but those are clamshells quilted in here then over here I have feathers again but they're kind of a different style and then I have loops with stars in this particular one more meandering in the red corners I needed something to put into the square so that's what I chose back here I just have stitching that just gradually goes out I'm blocking the name of it right now but it's more of a shadow outline of the quilt pattern on the inside and I did stitch around each of these eggs so that it wouldn't pop out in the middle over here it's just plain loops yes those are just plain loops in there and then over here I do have some spiral curls so that is the quilting on this quilt I just wanted to get this one completed to get it off of my to-do list and I'm happy with it because I got to practice a lot of different styles of quilting the last quilt that I worked on is that I also quilted my quilt when life is scrappy make a quilt and I don't have the binding on it yet but it's actually going into our quilt show so I needed to get this one done and I didn't show or make a video on the quilting on this because I just used my feathers that I was using learning how to put feathers in a row and that's exactly what I did here so now my last step is that I need to put a hanging sleeve on this particular one and do the binding so I hope you enjoyed this quick video of what I am working on and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.